guys, welcome back. So this week I thought that I would start to do something new with my channel that I've been wanting to do for a while and now I'm finally doing it. I kind of want to do like a series of videos here and there that are like self-help, self-love, you know, ridding your life of bad things, yada, yada, yada. So this is kind of the first installment and I'll kind of do like one or two of these a month. It just depends on how well they're received. For this week in the first installment of this new series, I thought why not go over some things that keep in theme with New Year's resolutions. So this is going to be five tips on how to declutter your life and kind of help with stress as well. So the first thing that I have done and I've really been on this kick lately of just minimizing things that I have and so that I can save money and just live a happy, healthier life. So the first thing that I did, I did the 50-50 closet purge. And I don't know if you've heard of that, but it is where you go into your closet and you start to get rid of clothing. And if you haven't worn it in over a year and it doesn't make you happy anymore, you get rid of it, which, you know, I love clothes and I have like an attachment to certain items and stuff, but this purge really helped me to rid my closet of things that I had bought at one time and thought, oh, I'm going to wear that one day and then never wore. And so I was able to purge out things that I could donate and then other things that I could actually sell to make myself money. So it's kind of a win-win. So my second tip, it kind of goes along with the theory of minimalism. Um, I've actually started to implement some of the different things from minimalism in my life. Um, actually, a really awesome documentary, if you're interested in minimalism, to watch is on Netflix and it's called Minimalism. It's a great documentary. It kind of shows you how people have transformed their lives to live a happier, healthier life without all these things in their life. So the second tip I have for you is just to minimize distractions in your life. Um, only commit to doing like one thing a day. I have that now to where I used to commit to doing like three or four things in a day after work and then I would bombard myself and overwhelm myself and then I get stressed. So only commit to doing one thing. So if that one thing is you want to go to work and then go to the gym, the gym is your one thing. So then you just have to tell people, oh, I'm sorry, I have this, but why don't we try to schedule for another day? And minimizing distractions, it just really helps to keep your mind clear. My third tip would be to get a planner of some sort. I am a big, big believer in planners. I am an organizational theme, I have to write things down because if I don't write things down, I forget about them or I over schedule myself and book myself. So with this, I write down everything from bills when they're due, how much they are, to doctor's appointments, to things that I'm going to do, even meeting up with friends. I write it in here and this goes with me every day. I just chuck it in my purse or bag. I really think that this could help you, especially when it comes to like managing money. Because when you're writing down on paper how much each bill is and you calculate it up, you know how much you're spending that month, how much you can put away, and how much extra you have. So it's really great for decluttering your bank account, if that makes sense, because you're not just going off of the numbers that you think you have in your bank account because you can actually see them written down on paper. So it's a great way to save oodles and oodles of money. My fourth tip, and this is one of my favorite things, is to only buy items when you need them. I used to have this problem where I would go to the drugstore or like Sephora and I'd buy more makeup way before I ever needed more makeup. I just thought I needed makeup because it's the next and latest and greatest thing and it's pretty and sparkly and yada yada, but you don't need it. Um, I've noticed that now that I'm kind of dwindling down my makeup supply and like shampoo and all that, I wait until like I have two more shampoos left in my bottle before I go out to the store and buy more. And I'm telling you, it saves you money and your space is not cluttered with an abundant amount of stuff. Now I know that there's people that like collect different things and that's totally fine, but when it comes to like items in your fridge for instance, I only buy groceries for two weeks in a row and only the food that I know I'm going to eat. So then that way nothing goes to waste, I haven't wasted money and I save money in the long run because I'm not buying stuff that's perishing in my fridge and I have more money in my baking account to spend on other things and it's nice. So my fifth thing to help you kind of declutter your mind and space would be yoga or meditation. I know that's kind of out there and random but I'm telling you it helps with your mind. I started yoga about two months ago and 
I just feel more at peace and calm and less stressed because I'm focusing on something for myself and my body instead of focusing on the different array of things that could be in my way. I'm telling you if it works. Um, even if you don't like meditation, another thing you can do is just sit down and give yourself a little bit of time each day just to go over your day and some goals. Think about the good parts of your day, things that you're thankful for, and that can be your form of meditation. I mean, any med anything that you're giving yourself, I would call meditation. The biggest thing that I think you can do to declutter your mind and your space is to focus on love. And I know that's really, so cliche, but all the things and the items that you buy are fleeting in life. Um, they go away. They only have value for a certain amount of time. And then that novelty value, it wears off. Whereas building relationships and pouring love into projects and people, it has a lasting effect on your life, not just an effect that maybe lasts two weeks. So if you have a strong focus on love, I think that it'll really help you to follow your goals that you have set for yourself within the new year, whether it comes to decluttering or working out or, you know, making new relationships, yada yada. I think it's really gonna help. All right guys, so those were the five tips I have for decluttering your life and mind. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And in the comments below, tell me anything that you want to see next. I have a few, I have a makeup video coming out next week and a few more of these videos written down. And if there's any other ideas for things you want, let me know. Also, be sure to follow me on all my social media and get start talking to me so that I can talk to you to get to know you and all that. So until next time, guys, I love you so much. Have a great week. Bye.